2017, but it was 70 years ago, would you believe, that we were involved in our first TT. I don't remember too much about it. I was pushed out of my pram to the area across the road in front of what was affectionately known as Hotchkiss's Nursery. And uh, you saw all the action because you could see the start of the bikes leaving up the road there at the grandstand and uh, head off for a lap of the 37 and three quarter mountain course. And then we would see them again because inevitably when they came down Glencrutchie Road they finished and they had to kind of overrun the start finish and come down. And more often than not, as can be demonstrated by the photograph there of Dickie Dale on the V8 Guzzy, they had to get down to around about here to get anchored up. The mechanics, helpers would come down, grab a hold of them and turn them round and more often than not light a fag up and then push the bike back up to the start finish area. It was a bit of a unique event as well because it was in this particular year, 1957, that Bob McIntyre on the Jalira broke the 100 mile an hour barrier. But it was all witnessed by the Royster across the road there at Hotchkiss's nursery. So we've moved back now to the original TT pit lane, if you can call it that. And there's a few stories behind this one as well. Looking back up, it used to be without the Armco, uh, the bikes used to fuel on the outside of the road. So a lot of activity around there and the scoreboards, well, you'd think in this day and age they'd be computer controlled, but they are original as well. A bit like Trigger's brush, really. I mean, it's uh, had new wood on it and stuff like that. The fence is relatively new as well. In this day and age, safety factor with the bikes hurtling past here at something like 160, 170 miles an hour. Well, inevitably, that fence had to be put in to protect them because they would be walking up and down there, putting the various figures together, which would indicate to those sitting up on the old grandstand and the new grandstand uh, who was winning and everything. Just have a run sometime up the back of the boards and see all the, the messages that have been left by probably Boy Scouts many, many years ago. We've probably got children of their own now that would probably be Boy Scouts and operating the scoreboards. The uh, timber has been replaced over the years, so it's taken away a bit of the history of it. But uh, there's still some original bits there. And we had a lovely... This area has uh, inevitably has seen some bits of history, some very, very close finishes, but we've also seen some dramatic pit stops as well. And uh, the one with Halewood and Agostini would be in and around this area. It was uh, 1967. The Honda was quicker, but the MV was better handling. And when they came into the pits, I think it was Agostini by about six or seven seconds. Would you believe Mike Halewood asked his Honda mechanic to give him a hammer? and he bashed away at that right-hand side on the twist grip to make it a bit more manoeuvrable. Agostini, you see him in front. Halewood just about to push away there. Agostini still taking on fuel, and it was Agostini who had the advantage as they set off there, I think, onto their fourth lap. But later on in the race, it was victory for Halewood for the simple reason that Giacomo Agostini, on his birthday, his chain broke at Windy Corner, would you believe? And he coasted in to uh, distraught uh, when the victory was taken away from him. Certainly, he was quick to acknowledge the battle that had gone on beforehand with the legendary Mike Halewood, and uh, certainly it was one to remember. I'll remember also when Agostini coasted in, would you believe there was a chap in pit lane here with all that fuel about, running alongside Agostini with a can of Coke or whatever other products are available to refresh him, smoking a cigarette. How would that go down in 2017 with safety at work? And many, many are the stories about Parkfield Corner, which we're at now. And there's a picture there of the, a lightweight, a ding-dong battle going on as they turn the sharp right-hander onto Ballonard Road. Certainly part and parcel of TT history in every respect.